Money Matters this morning. DirecTV is allowing some Sunday night football ticket refunds for customers who are offended by the national anthem protests. And Wall Street is waiting to hear details on tax reform due today. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with these stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Jane, the president set to go ahead and release the framework for that tax reform proposal today. We'll be curious to see how Wall Street responds. Yeah, so Wall Street has been waiting for this since the election, really, Bruce and Jen. Leaked details to the media show big cuts for companies and individuals. So these cuts meant to free up cash so companies can hire more workers and the individuals have more money to spend to spur the economy. So, Jane, the NFL protests are having an impact on DirecTV's business as well. How so? Yeah, uh, just a huge ripple effect here. DirecTV letting at least some customers cancel subscriptions to its Sunday night package of NFL games. This runs more than 200 bucks, by the way. Uh, they can get refunds if they cite players' national anthem protests as the reason. A market watch says they normally don't allow refunds once the season has started, but they're making exceptions this year. And solar power just got a big endorsement. Could uh, probably ensure its future. Uh, yes, the military looking to increase its use of solar panels. So the industry hoping this means some more really deep, well-funded research will happen to make solar better and cheaper. The military is considering solar for backup electricity generation. So Jane, what's this about United Airlines now letting passengers bid on overbooked seats? <laughs> well, they're doing something different uh, when it comes to getting bumped from a flight. So you, soon you'll be able to name exactly how much money it would take to get you to give up your seat on a United Airlines flight. This bidding is all automated. And of course, it follows the incident earlier this year. The passenger uh, dragged off the United flight. Uh, so United really trying to kind of improve their PR, change the system a little bit. Delta has done something like this since 2011. So name your price if you can get it. How much is a ticket to, to, to Tahiti? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that would be dollars. my bidding price. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Right. Thank you. The U